Hey, hey, guys. Um, I'm quite often uh, often asked how to actually parallel the batteries and how to make them through the, the DC bus bar. And I mean, this is a good one. Um, I have it running for some time already. Uh, and this is the 48 volt up to 48 volt and maybe even a little bit more. Uh, DC bus bar for M10 volt. They also can be for M8. And I think in my case, actually, I made a mistake when I got it for M10 because M8, with M8, it would have been a little bit easier uh, to connect because I had to drill out the bigger holes on some of the connectors I had. So that's the trouble. So batteries, in my case, lithium ferrum phosphate batteries, they all, they have their own uh fuse yeah they, they, they came into here and then there is the gel battery pack that also gets here uh we are its own cables right so these these are these are his cables uh that that and then it goes to, with, the, with the really thick cable it goes to the inverter and i mean it works like this in junction so anyways i'm giving you the links to the to this bus bar so you you're able you know you know what to choose and I will try to link you with the other video. How do I, uh, how have I organized the DC bus bar in my bigger system where there are 10, 15 kilowatt batteries? And I mean, that one is huge, but that one is definitely has to be self assemble. There is no ready made solution. So that one is um, like self assemblable. Uh, yeah, I took off the cover because I mean, that's exactly the same cover on the red one as on the black one. Uh, so just like, you know, that uh, how it looks like. And well, Think whatever place you can mount it. I mean, it's up to you to choose. Uh, no, no, no issues with that. Now you know.